By eighth grade, kids are up to their ears in equations, and you might be longing for the days when helping with math homework was as easy as two plus two. This year, one of the key skills your child will learn is to solve a system of linear equations. Solving a system of equations means figuring out the unknown numbers, in this case, x and y. Eighth graders should be able to look at a problem and know how to get started. In this case, Colin uses the substitution method. So I'm going to substitute the y into the 6y. Now that he's got one equation with one variable, he can solve the equation using skills he's been working on for years. I would minus 6 from both sides. 5x equals negative 25. And I would get x equals negative 5. And now that he has the solution for x, he can solve for y. So then what I would do is, when I have this, I would substitute it back into the equation. I'm going to use the first equation because it's simpler. So it's negative 5 minus... 6y equals negative 19. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So I get negative 6y equals negative 14. So y equals 2 and 1 third. If the two equations represent parallel lines or the same line, kids won't be able to find a single solution to the system. Your 8th grader should recognize this situation and know what it means. Okay, and so what happens when you have the same number on each side of the equal sign? On a graph, it would look, it would be the same line. So there's just one line, so you can't find another line that intersects it because both of them are the same one line. So how do you know if your child is on track with systems of linear equations? Well, by the end of 8th grade, students should be able to find a solution to a system of equations, recognize when there is no solution or an infinite number of solutions, and explain how they know.